Now, moving on to domestic politics, following its official launch on Wednesday, Korea's newest political party hit the ground running this Thursday morning. In its first uh, Supreme Council meeting, the New Politics Alliance for Democracy put utmost priority on those who have fallen through the cracks of the welfare system. Arirang News political correspondent Ji myung has more. The New Politics Alliance for Democracy Party set sail this Thursday with the opening of its first Supreme Council meeting. The new opposition party's co-leaders Kim Angil and An Chol Su said their focus is on the people. Our new alliance's top priority will be enhancing the people's livelihoods. Our first lawmaking activities will be devoted to revising three existing welfare bills. The proposed amendments to the three bills focus on reaching those most in need of financial help. If the revisions are passed, local governments will be able to assist people who are in need of urgent financial aid, with a particular emphasis on families who are having a hard time paying their water, electricity and medical bills. If our first revised welfare bill gets passed, some one million desperate families who are in need of financial help will receive it from the government. The ruling Saenuri party congratulated the newly unified opposition party, but with conditions attached. We are keeping a close eye on the new party's pledge for strong national security and an innovative and growing economy. We'll have to wait and see how well those pledges are carried out. Despite the new party's liberal base, it has vowed to adopt what they call conservative values. As for the June 4th local elections, Kim An An said that the New Politics Alliance for Democracy will not engage in a nomination process, saying it acts as a breeding ground for bribery and corruption. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.